Hello everyone. Yeah, good morning, afternoon. This is my new voice can make noise. So welcome back to the channel. So guys, today we are going house hunting again. So I'm going today. I intend to succeed. I intend to get a place that I can secure. So that because I, we have few weeks here in this apartment until our rent expire. So now that I know I have means of transportation to transport my items, my belongings, I can look for this house anywhere without thinking twice. Before I was thinking of how I'm going to move my things, even from this house to the next street. When I calculate my budget, it wasn't going to be enough. But now, I transport my things to distance, a distant place around Ghana if I want to do so. So that's a good thing. We have the truck money ready, like Britain ready. So now that I know I can get a place anywhere I like, Today, I'm calling up another agent somewhere that I saw online and I'm going to go see the places. I intend to succeed today or very close to succeeding. <laughs> so, but wish me luck, okay? Dear young ladies seeing this video, before you think of being a single mother, remember me, okay? Remember me and know that the struggle is real. Just imagine I have someone that helps me with my kids. Their father is in their life or I am still married. In my case, I won't even be blaming myself, but just in case you want to think about, ah, about it, please don't think about it, okay? It's good to have kids. The joy that it gives you is a lot, but the stress that comes with it, my dear, is not a joke, okay? I know how I would have been, the kind of life I would have been living, like, I could, this me always being in need wouldn't have been there, would have been me assisting those in need, but here we are, and I know that God will see me through to the end, you know, till my kids grow up, you know, and be free, I mean, become independent on their own. I am going to find strength in God Almighty to be able to pull through. So let's go look for a house <laughs> and see. Let's go far away from here and look for a house. My main target, the reason I've not really settled for, the reason I've not picked a place is because every, almost everywhere I go is either I have school issue, especially for my niece. I don't want to send her back to get three. She having to go back to government school to prepare for placement. That is what I'm avoiding. At the same time, I want to ease the financial stress on me. But at the same time, I know I want to ease the financial stress on me. But at the same time, I want to consider her because I don't want her to do JS3 twice because of me. So anywhere I look for a house, if I can't find a school for her, I won't be able to take that place. As for the younger ones, Grace and uh, as for my younger kids, I can find them schools anywhere, anywhere. Almost their school litter, ev their school is litter everywhere around. But Antonia, I have to be careful. So that is why it's even taking this long to get a place. But I know we'll definitely get. So those are giving me that energy of Nigeria. Or uh, I've told them this year i won't be doing that if anybody any landlord wants to stress me i'll bring him to you guys i've told him i've told the agents please i'm in nigeria but i won't i won't be doing this oh i don't want to give my houses to nigerians i am from the southern part of nigeria i have gone through a lot even for being a nigerian so i don't want to run away from home come back here and still face the consequence of the super people you know the superior people of nigeria i don't want that energy so i've begged the agent to please 
hook me up with the house and I will not disappoint. At least, I wish I can go with a testimony from here. I've never stressed anybody here. Uh, I've uh, always, I mean, if I'm not the first to pay my bills, like water bill, service charge, I don't know, I should be the second thought. I don't delay, I don't just, even if that's the last card I have, I always pay my bills. I don't stress anybody, I don't make noise. I don't bring men home. I don't bring friends home. There's no crowd following me home. So I wish they can give me like a recommend recommendation. I'm gonna ask Mr. I almost mentioned his name. I'm gonna ask the landlord of this house to see if he can give me a recommendation so that I use it to get a place quick. So um right, let's go look for a house, okay? Let's go house hunting, let's go town hunting and a house hunting. Today I intend to come back with good news because my daughter have been asking me, Mommy, have you been able to get us another place where we go? And then I keep saying no. But today I intend to bring her good news. So let's go. Ясным теплым днем или под дождем И снова слов пустых, а что слышишь ты? Today I was looking forward to getting my dream house. Oh my goodness, I loved loved the apartment that I was shown to yesterday. The only thing stopping us was that my phone died. So on the process, I collected their number, I gave my own, and then I, you know, pleaded. I told them, yeah, what I wanted to do is use the transport money that I was supposed to use to pack my goods when it's time to move to secure the place. And the guy was cool with that. So I assured him I could run down to get money, the complete money, as soon as possible. He said he doesn't have issues with that. I told him I have um I won't stress anybody and also I'm a family person. He said he can see that from my look. So I was so happy. I came home, I broke the news to my kids that we have gotten an apartment and the house price was to die for. It was going for the house is six hundred cities per month and it is located in a place that has a lot of schools some of the schools for both of my kids i walked into some of the schools to inquire oh my god their prizes are mind blowing so i was so excited and looking forward to getting the key getting the deal sealed but getting there it broke my heart he said they can't give me a house that the mother said they must not rent rent their house to nigerians i pleaded he said he will not. Oh my God, with my broken heart, I went elsewhere. The places I can find a house that suits my budget, there are no schools there. The places I find schools around, the houses are beyond my budget. So my goodness, I'm sure you guys some of these houses, not because I have taken them, just so in case you're looking for a house and you are willing to stay far away from Accra, there are a lot of houses in this part. So if you want to take it, that is why I'm showing you. Actually, these are the houses the agent were showing me. This house, they say they do not take Nigerians, but the woman said, the owner said she would give it to me for the sake of my children. So what I find in this house is upstairs and the price is a bit high for me. So I have to, I had to let it go. It's upstairs last floor and you guys, my daughter can, I won't put her through that stress of going up and down every day. I mean um everything i'm doing i'm being intentional this time to suit everybody so i couldn't take that one all right so I went to the next one as for that one the school is just in front of the house so i don't need school bus i don't need um, anything it's just for me to put them just take them to the place and we are good pick them up closing time and then just a few minutes from 
around here we could we were able to find a private school for my niece so everything was looking so good but the house is beyond my budget and it's upstairs so that one cancelled so this one i came here this lady is convinced me to come and see here so please i'm not taking the two bedroom okay all right i don't have money for two bedroom apartments in this location this location has everything that i need it has all the schools and i've done inquiries oh my god there are schools the schools are so many here and the prices oh my god are so mind-blowing uh, but this two bedroom i'm just showing you in case you like it and you want to take it you can afford it it's good for you so we are going to be taking um a chamber and hall i wanted a one room as a matter of fact like i told you guys i want to cut costs on every angle but that one room i remember I have like a big mattress and i have furnitures where my kids usually sit and to watch telly and we have a wardrobe so it's not going to be able to contain us and then for them to do their homework and for me to do my video so it was going to be issues for us so i left that one you know i couldn't do one room if not i wanted a one room self-contained because that one could go for really cheap price and it's going to save me a lot but it won't contain us so i opt for a chamber and hall which i have not at you can see this house is not completed yet they are still on it so they are still trying to complete everywhere but i was told that the landlord is a good man i didn't know what they mean until i met him so lucky me he was on site so i met him and they told me to tell him about my budget because the self con i mean the chamber and hall goes for a lot almost you know for a lot so i went to plead i just explained things to him a little bit and he was like no problem oh my god i was shocked i told him i'm in nigeria and he said no problem i've been to nigeria before i do business with nigerians and um so i am going to give you a chance anybody regardless nigerian or wherever if you, the person go against the rules the person will, uh, will be asked to leave so yeah this is just me showing you house okay showing you a house in case you like it and you want to take it for me i can't afford this one all right and it's not like i really want to though if the price was um a bit less maybe i could but yeah all this is not my problem my problem is to cut costs right now stay in a place that has a school and then also stay in place that has um yeah schools affordable affordable schools so that's it so right now we have gotten an apartment okay for everyone i have that's helping me look out to get a place everywhere every angle every corner every part every region thank you so much so at this point we have gotten a house we have gotten um an apartment so by the grace of god we are good to go with this one uh, I got a house at Koforidia for, not Koforidia town, Koforidia Tafo, because I wanted to do my proper research, not the internet research. I wanted to do one-on-one. -on -one. I couldn't find a school around there. So the only school, the two schools I could find, one is a boarding house. They said it's only boarding school. And then we got an apartment, a five-bedroom flat, I mean, five-bedroom apartment. The woman just wanted to give it to me so i can keep the place busy and that she's not moving in anytime soon so i could live there for as long as i want and she gave me for the price of 300 cities my goodness but because i couldn't find a school for my niece to attend i let it go i didn't want something that would bring daily financial stress on me because the other school i could see is a distance away from the place we got an apartment at kufuridia so i had to let it go i was pain because i loved loved the place safe compound gated five room and there's water and it's just the perfect location that i want away from accra like countryside that's what i wanted so but then i had to let it go and then um so finally we have one now okay we have one already i am 
I'm happy, but I wish I've gotten the two bedroom apartment that is for 600 because this one is slightly the chamber and hall is even more expensive than the two bedroom. I am still trying to understand why. And that same man, the same house owner called agent to bring someone else, but not Nigerian. <laughs> so that's it. That's my pain for of being a Nigerian. And uh, you could say, okay, why don't you get a Ghanaian to get the place for you? The moment you do that and they discover it, they're going to refund your money because they feel used. So the best thing is face it and get it right, rightfully. If the person want to give you so they don't feel used, at the end of the day, that may even be the issue. So thank you for watching the video. Keep on watching. I